Hello, Sue Scoblum here from Scoblum Designs. And I wanted to talk to you today about welcoming people in as part of your online strategy for meeting your next customer. There are four different ways you can do this. The first is through language. You take your digital touch points for where people are first seeing you online, um, whether that is through your website, a contact us form, a landing page, or social media. And you either add, enhance, or update your language to welcome people in. The next thing is to look at tone. Tone is interesting because we don't always notice it until it's gone. So for instance, if I were to tell you something in real life, or if I were to send you an email, you might get two different meanings out of the same words. It is all an audio cue. And when we're missing that audio cue, then we are missing some of the information, some of the meaning. And you can easily add this into your digital touch points. You could interview your CEO or some of your leadership team on the values of the company and why they think that it's making a difference in your community. Or you could interview a new hire and say, hey, why do you like working here? Or a new customer and find out what problem and what solution that your company helped provide for. All of these things humanize your business and put a tone and a voice to the message that you have. It helps people understand and gives them more information. The next thing that you want to look at is photos or optics. People will always look at the photos before they read the words. So even if you have updated your mission statement or you have a really great plan to like include more more people groups or um, more demographics in your business and you're trying to reach different generations, whatever you're trying to do, if you can give that to them in an image first and then the words, they will believe it more readily. It's in front of us and it's real. So show your values through your pictures. And finally, we wanna talk about accessibility. So accessibility is a little bit easier to see in real life because when we see somebody that needs help, we want to help them. But when they are in the digital world, we might not see that because they're not right in front of us. So a few different ways that you can look at updating your digital presence with accessibility. Um, one of the easiest ones is just looking at your text. Now, any text or graphics that you have, you want it to be legible and you want it to be high content. So those two things, you just want it to be big enough to be readable and then also um, high contrast colors. So like black and white, those are easy ones for people to understand. You don't want to put like red on green or like a dark blue on a light blue. Um, those are a little bit harder for people to see, especially if they're either visually impaired or colorblind. And so again, you want it, those high contrast um, letters as well as big enough font for people to read. And then you also want easy navigation. You want people to be able to complete simple tasks on your website. And this works for more than just um, people who, you know, maybe aren't so tech savvy. It works for all of us because we have a lot of things we got to do during the day. So when you're showing people that you value their time, you are making your site more accessible and welcoming in a greater number of people. So. You can show your online digital presence that you are more welcoming, more inclusive by updating your language, your tone, your photos, and your accessibility. Good luck, and I hope you meet your next customer by welcoming them in.